It's a really good question. How do you prepare for an evolution? Because you can't. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Hi Mona. Hi, How Hello. are you? <laughs> good, good. Oh, good. And I just want to thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to be talking to you both. And I'm going to start with you, Mona. What was about this script, the powerful story, right, that got your attention and want to be, be part of this project? I think that um, uh, I just felt really moved by um, how the story was told. I thought, I thought that, you know, it's, it's a beautiful love story. Uh, but also it's this really lovely, uh, interesting story that has all these layers of relationship between a husband and a wife, a relationship between a mother and, you know, mourning the loss of her child, and then a relationship between a woman and, and the written word. And I thought all these things together just started, you know, created this exciting, um, you know, dialogue and, and all these questions that I was curious to try and uh, explore. Yeah. Uh, Catherine, you, uh, a, a big girl, she's involved a lot uh, along throughout the movie. She mm -hmm. starts very shy, very sad, and then she's mm -hmm. kind of like grows and mm -hmm. I don't know, become like a light up. How did you, how did you like prepare for that? And how did you involve with her? It's a really good question. How do you prepare for an evolution? Because you can't actually rehearse or plan that in a sense, you, because you want to feel the journey. Um, so, so it's so important to have the healthy relationship with the director who's overseeing what you reveal and how you develop when, because of course, when you're shooting out of sequence and stuff, you can't always feel the evolution, you know, in, in real time. Um, I think, uh, you know, I often think of it like you sort of have a toolbox, you do all this research, you prepare, you find what in your personal life or whatever you really connect to about the character. And then you just have those things. And if the script is really good, then you can just not, I, I didn't feel the pressure to, um, how do I say this, like nail something, but to just um, let it, let it happen in a sense, this might sound a little hippy dippy, but like, let it happen to me. You know, when you've got a great scene partner and they're giving you so much and you have a person who's suffered so much and is needing a little bit of joy, perhaps a little relief, um, a way out of something that has felt like, um, a prison that she's lived in so for so long, a prison of her own grief, but also the prison of a life she hasn't chosen exactly for herself. Um, you know, you you just like, I don't know, you just let yourself go through it, I suppose, um, with these tools at your disposal if to use if and when you need them. Um, but I don't know, I just had such a strong connection to the character. I don't have any memories of like, trying to manufacture the evolution I just a good script is kind of like a wave and if you can just let it you know if you could just surf it it doesn't really feel like work if that makes any sense yeah yeah now just just asking me to to wrap I just want to salute you and salute you on the on the movie Mona very well directed and I like the way that you did like the summer and winter and everything thank you so much for your time <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you so Jen. much Thanks. bye 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 Tuesday January 1st 1856 with little pride and less hope we begin the new year Who is that? Good afternoon. I'm Tally. Abigail. I hope I'm not keeping you from something. I'm glad you've come. Meeting you has made my day. Well, oh, how pleasant and uncommon it is to make someone's day. I guess I'm supposed to offer a toast. What my husband means is he's so happy to finally get together. Do you miss me? Yes. Our farm is a slaughterhouse right now. My husband is killing his hawks. And I resolved to visit you. 
so that there would be something in my day other than his meanness. So what do you think? What do you think about us? I don't know how to put it into words. It's been my experience that it's not always those who show the least who actually feel the least. Well, seven, an earthquake knocked down our house in the barn. An earthquake? The dread never fully went away. What was safe if the solid earth could do that? When the day is done, my mind turns to her and I think, why are we to be separated? I don't feel I have a wife. I have certain expectations and you have certain duties. We shall sing like birds in a cage. We haven't seen you for days. Have you been ill? What is happening? Are you in danger? I would die without you. Do you know what memory it is that I most cherish? It's of your turning to me with that smile once you realized that you were loved. Astonishment and joy. Astonishment and joy. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.